Farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the Easter decorations that we currently have in the game. And I might also purchase a few more just to decorate my farm a bit. So let's see what happens. I'm just going to check my farm visitors. Okay, that's um, Saws. I'm just going to send her away. And Mike here is asking me for the passion fruits. I'm just going to say no to him as well. Alright, so today we're having the double XP truck event, which is great. I've been sending a lot of trucks to make XP. I've already made like 50,000 or something. I'm not really that passionate about it right now. Um, I haven't even activated the XP booster, as you guys can see. So, yeah, I'm just playing it normally. Not really in a rush, so. Okay, let's just um cut my bushes. Right, and I'm just gonna ask for help on all these. Okay, that is perfect. So there are only three that's asking for the revive, and I'm going to purchase some more. So one nectar bush costs you 120 gold coins, which is not really expensive. You can easily get it. All right, so let's just harvest my crops, and then I'll get right into the decorations. Let's go with my crops, and I'm just going to go with some carrots because, well, I'm obviously low on them, and I might just plant some soybeans. So when I don't know what to plant, I usually go with the wheat and corn. Uh, but since I'm low on soybeans, so I think it's better if I plant them rather than going with the wheat and corn. Okay, so that's about my crops. Now, coming to the decoration. So you guys know in Haiti we have all the festivals and we have all the seasons. Uh, we get the winter, there's summer, we get fall, Halloween, Christmas, and much more. So for every season and every festival in the game... We got a bunch of decorations. Now, there's so many ways that we can get decorations in the game. For example, there are sometimes events. We can win an exclusive decorations. Uh, we get the decorations in the diamond packs. You guys can see we had these Easter decorations a few days ago. Sometimes there are Greg's Easter calendars like we're having right now. And, you know, maybe in the derby and stuff like that. Not really in the derby. packs. But there are some decorations that come every year within the game that you can purchase by spending your coins diamonds and vouchers so that's what i'm going to be focusing on today i'm just going to show you guys all the easter decorations and basically it's going to be a little um showcase of my easter collection so let's start and i'm just going to show you guys the price and everything so i'm in the seasonal package and the very first decoration that i see is the easter gate i'm also going to be giving you guys a little description of where i got this decoration and when i got it so I'm just going to put it out on my farm. Now, this is exclusive. You cannot get it in the game. I won this back in 2018, Easter fishing event, if I'm not wrong. So it's beautiful. It's really natural, and I do like it. So this is an exclusive one, and currently in the game, there's no way that you can get it. Okay, let's see what's the next one. Uh, so the next one is the hidden eggs. I've got six, which are basically colorful eggs on the grass, and their contrast is really amazing. It matches perfectly with the normal land that you have on your farm. It doesn't even look like that there's a decoration. It just looks so natural. It effortlessly blends in with your farm. It's just beautiful. So I've got six of them, and I think you can purchase them with the diamonds. Um, let me just show you guys if we can. Oh, wait, we can't? Okay, anyways, uh, now this was in 2019's Diamond Pack. We also got this in last year's Greg's Easter Calendar and maybe I got a few from the diamond pack. I don't know. I did not get the diamond pack, though. Yeah, I think I have them all from the actual Greg's Easter calendar. But maybe they're also available to purchase within the game. I'll show you guys all the decorations for the Easter. Okay. Now, the next one. Okay, what just happened? All right, I'm just going to scroll down. And the next one that I see are the Shake Nest, which is so cute. And I totally of this decoration so much now one complaint that a lot of people have about the easter decorations in the game is that they're really expensive and i do agree most of the decorations for the easter cost you just diamonds like no coins no vouchers just the diamonds which i'm sure like for low level players it's not really plausible um like they cannot get them it's gonna be like a waste of diamonds for them so got 15 of the chick nests so this is basically a nest and and our beautiful blue, pink, and green eggs inside. The egg is cracking and the chicks are coming out. So it's so, so pretty. I totally love it. All right. So now this is a decoration that you can actually purchase within the game. It's going to cost you 35 diamonds each. Oh my gosh. That's really expensive. I can't believe I bought 15. That must have been like more than, I guess, um, 350 diamonds. <gasps> are you freaking kidding me? This last year, because I'm sure I did not spend... 
a single dime in this year in the game. On the decorations, I mean to say. I don't think I'm gonna get any more because I already have a lot, so that's just gonna work. Okay, now we have the chocolate bunny in the game, which is a unique Easter decoration. So this was in 2016's um, Easter, even in the game. We had a truck event. I didn't play my game at that time, so I don't have it, but I actually purchased it with 90 diamonds. Very expensive again, and I'm sure that most of the people cannot purchase it in the game, unless you have a lot of diamonds and unless you purchase diamonds. Great. Next is the bunny flower pot. Uh, so we got this one in 2017's Fishing Easter event. You can also get it within the game. It's going to cost you 45 diamonds. And I have one. Wait, I, I thought I had two, but I'm not sure where's the other one. Okay, maybe it's in the town, but um, I used to have two. Anyways, it's really cute. It's basically a bunny who has won some sort of a competition. And maybe he got that as a prize or whatever. Okay, next is the Easter tree, which is really pretty. Uh, and the trees has... X on it, it's going to cost you 45 diamonds again, which is expensive. So maybe I'm just going to spend some diamonds to grab some more decorations. Like, I don't mind. I have a lot of diamonds. I purchase them often. So, uh, plus I've already maxed out all my machines on the farm. So I think I can get them. It's not a problem. All right. The next is the Easter basket, which is really pretty and really colorful. It's also going to cost you 45 diamonds in the game. So almost all the decorations till now are costing diamonds, which is expensive. Next one is the Easter egg. This is really pretty. It actually costs 30 diamonds, which is not that expensive. I mean, it's expensive, but um, comparatively to other decorations, which cost like 45 diamonds, it's not really that expensive. And I'm surely going to get some more. So uh, let's uh, get one more. And maybe we're just going to get one more. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, this is looking really beautiful. I'm just really bad at the decorating part, but I do like to get the decorations in the game. All right, next we have the Easter Pond, which I'm sure costs coins. Um, I've already got nine and this was like one of the very first decorations that I ever got in the game for the Easter because back in those days I used to have no diamonds. I used to be totally broke in the game and so like I never purchased diamonds and uh, I just used to rely on the coins decorations. All these decorations I actually purchased last year so yeah. But it's okay, like, seriously guys, decorations don't do a lot. What really matters is machines, land, but at the end of the day, it's your game. If you like decorations, if you, you know, love to collect them, decorating is your favorite part, then maybe it's cool, maybe you should get them. Okay, now let's see what else do I have. So I'm sure the pond, yeah, it costs coins. I'm not sure how many at the first, but right now it's costing me 11,750 coins. So maybe it started at like 5,000 coins, cool. And there's some more which cost coins. I know I have the daffodils which cost coins, so maybe they're not going to be here. Uh, yeah, I think it's over. There are, like, no Easter decorations left here, so maybe I'm going to have to go into the rewards to see if I have any more Easter decorations. I'm sure that I do have. Um, let me just see. Guys, now here are some more decorations that I have for the Easter, which is the uh, grass bunny that I just got. Now, this was in 2020's Diamond Pack. And I purchase it. Okay, you can see there's the Easter surprise. Easter surprise was in 2020's uh, event. And there's going to be the jumping bunny, which is wonderful. Uh, this one, the jumping bunny, it's really, really cute. You can see the bunny is actually enjoying. Uh, so it's amazing. I'm sure that I have the chick pole as well, which I purchased last year. So let's see where I have that. Oh, wait, there's more. Okay, this is the bunny gnome. Really cute. So, if you've been playing Hitty for a long time, like maybe four to five years, uh, there's going to be a few decorations that you will get for free within the game, but, but if you're just a beginner, like you've just started, then maybe you're not going to have a lot of decorations, unless you purchase them with the diamonds. That's just a fact. So, I think that's all. Like, there's the chick pool. Let me just show you guys. It's going to be here. Yeah, I do have a bunch more, by the way. Now, the bees flowers, I'm not sure if this is the Easter. I think it's the Easter decoration, right? Yeah, like, I know that this is not the summer one. I got it last year, so. All right. Um, let's scroll down and see what more do I have. Okay, there's a bee lights, which is absolutely cute, and I do like it. And there's going to be my final Easter decoration, which was the chick pool, which was just really pretty. And we have that in the farm pass right now as well. Okay, there we go. That's a chick pool. The chicks are actually enjoying in the pool. And I think that's all about my Easter collection in the game, or the Easter decorations. Uh, there's the daffodils as well. You can also use them within the game to decorate your farm. 
uh, yeah, these, I have like 33, 36, sorry. They cost coins. They're really beautiful. You can also use these flowers. I think they look perfect for the East. Then that's your choice. I mean, there's so many decorations that you can actually use all the time, like summer, spring, um, Easter. They are kind of similar. So yeah, that's all about my Easter decorations. And my opinion on them, they're really cute. They're really colorful. But Hades should really give us more decorations that we can actually get with the vouchers or maybe coins because they are really expensive and they cost a lot of diamonds. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and let me know what is your Easter decorations collection, how many you have, and are you going to some this year or not subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more hating videos coming thank you so much for watching and supporting i really appreciate you guys have a great day bye